Welcome back to another exciting lesson with your favorite geometry teacher. Let's get started. Tonight we are talking about uh, polygon and polygon angles. Uh, so let's start off with one polygon that we know. Um, we're going to start off with a triangle and you can see that I've, I've made a number of sides, I've labeled it, and then the sum of the interior angles. And of course the sum of the interior angles in a triangle is a 180 degrees. That's triangle sum theory. Yes. Then we move on and add a side. And that would be a quadrilateral. Notice that I stayed away from a square or a rectangle because not all quadrilaterals are squares and rectangles. Uh, squares and rectangles, 90, 90, 90, 90. You know it's 360. Is this one also 360? Uh, I, and I think you're, the answer to that might be easily found if I take a diagonal, just any old quadrilateral, and make it two triangles. There's 180, and there's 180, so it's basically two 180s, right? And that indeed equals 360. Fantastic. And we can write a conjecture for that. We'll call it the sum of the quadra quadrilaterals conjecture. Uh, how about the sum of the measures of the four interior angles of any quadrilateral is 360 degrees. Adding another side, we get a pentagon. And I'm going to attack this one the same way. I am going to just count the triangles, right? So we choose one vertex and we divide it up from one single vertex, making three triangles. Each triangle must be 180, so it's 3 times 180, which in this case would be 540. And we could make another conjecture, but let's just, let's, okay, let's, let's add another side. Six, we'll make a hexagon. One, two, three, four triangles. Wow, four times 180. And now, in this case, it's 720. A few days ago, some of you asked me what the sum of the interior of a hexagon was, and there it is, 720. Now, I could write conjectures for ever, yes, but we want to do that. We want to find a rule for if I know how many sides it has, how many, how much, excuse me, how, what is the sum of the interior angles? So if it has six sides, it was four times 185, it was three times 184, is two, uh, you see a pattern? If it has insides, the way to find it, it would take, you. there's n minus two, because this one's always two off, times 180. And that would be your sum of interior angles for any polygon. And we'll go ahead and write a conjecture for that. So we'll call it the polygon sum conjecture, and we'll say the sum of the measures of the in interior angles of an inagon, inagon, is 180 times quantity n minus 2. Now let's talk about the exterior angles of a polygon. And once again, I'm going to start off with a triangle. And you can see that I have drawn or constructed the, the exterior angles of a triangle. And you will notice that even though there are two exterior angles for every vertex, I'm only going to count one for each vertex. That is called a set of exterior angles. That's when we only have one per vertex. So D, E, and F are the exterior angles of a triangle, right? All right, now, what do we know? Well, A, B, and C are the interior angles. And A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees. Triangle sum. I do not know what D, E, and F are sum up to, so I'd like to find that. 
I'm going to use the fact that this is a linear pair and this is a linear pair and this is a linear pair to help me. Because they're a linear pair, they must be supplementary and because they're supplementary, they must be uh, sum to 180. So, A plus D is 180 plus B plus E is 180 and C plus F is 180. Three 180s, that's 540 degrees. Now, the commutative property of addition says that I can move these around, so I can put them in order, like A plus B, C, D, E, and F. And that's still equal to 540. If you notice, here, A, B, C, those are my interior angles, and those add up to 180. These, D, E, and F, are my exterior angles, and those are what I'm looking for. And if I subtract 180 from both sides, I get the sum of D, E, and F, D, oh, I should put plus E, E, plus F, equals to, of course, 360 degrees. Great. Now, so for a triangle, the sum of the exterior angles equals 360. All right, well, let's do it again. What if we go to a quadrilateral? Notice I, again, stayed away from rectangles. Same kind of concept. Four interior angles, four exterior angles. Well, A, B, C, and D this time, they equal to 360, right? And then if I multi put them all out again, how many, how many sets of linear pairs do I have? One, two, three, four. Right, so when I add them all up, if I wrote out all the letters, right, I have four linear pairs, which is the same thing as four times 180, right? And in this case, you know, four times 180 is 720, right? So if I wrote them all out just like before, I would get, uh, and I'll do my commutative property, I'm saving you some time, right? A plus C plus D plus E plus F plus G plus H. That should be 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7, 20, right? These ha this are my interior. And these are my exterior. Interior, 360 this time. Oh number here is 720. My, oh, look at that. 360 from 720. The exterior angles sum to 360. Will that always be true? So if I had an inagon, right, how many Linear pairs am I going to have? Well, one for every vertex, right? So I have n linear pairs, which means now that it's going to be n times 180. Okay? Notice up here, if we subtract the interior angles, we get what's left over. Okay, so what, how many, what's the sum of the interior angles in an inagon? All right, so n times 180 minus the subtract the sum of the interior angles it, we said that was uh, n minus 2 times 180 and that should give us the uh, sum of exterior right well that's just 180 in here this is what oh this is 180 in And 
that's as well, I help yeah, but I do my math right here. If I'm putting this in there, this is 360. Right? So if I keep it in there, if I do distributive property, right? Equals the sum of the exterior angles. And there's the subtracting that part. That's that's 180 in minus 180 in plus 360 equals the sum of the exterior angles. Those two cancel out each other. Ta-da! The sum of the exterior angles for any polygon now is going to be 360 degrees. Pretty fascinating, right? The exterior angle sum conjecture. For any polygon, the sum of the measures of a set of exterior angles is 360. And when I mean by set is one per vertex, right? Great. Now we want to look at uh, regular polygons. And so I start off with a question here. Uh, what is the measure of an interior angle of a regular dodecagon? This becomes not so bad. Okay, first off, a dodecagon, that's 12 sides, right? And to find the sum of the interior angles, we say that is n minus 2 times 180. And that's equal to the sum interior angles, right? And that's, and since we have 12 sides, that would be 12 minus 2 is 10. So of course now, the sum is 1800. Now how do we find 1? Well, we take 1800 and we divide that by 12. Because if it's regular, we can divide it evenly, right? Because we know that that is going to be the answer. So 1800 divided by 12 is going to be 150 degrees. Right? And if I wanted the exterior angle, right? Well, that would be the supplement to that, right? Because if it's making a dodecagon, right? This one was going to be 150 degrees and the exterior angle out here has to be supplement. Of course, in this case, it would have to be 30, right? Each one of those would have to be 30, right? Now, I could also do it the other way. I could have attacked this the, uh, through the exterior angles. If I know that it's got, if it's regular and it's got 12 sides, I could just think, well, okay, the sum of them has to be 360. So if I take 360, divided by 12, well, there we go, that's 30 degrees. So that is the exterior angle, right? If that's the exterior angle, then the supplement to the exterior angle would be one interior angle, and that's 150. So, now finally, a check for understanding. Here we go, we're gonna put it all together today. So, I have a regular octagon. I have uh, some parallel lines to the sides and I have an exterior angle and several interior angles or parts of interior angles. So your job is to find the measure of these. Uh, please, please check with your peers prior to coming in and filling out the form you know I'm going to give you the next time I see you, right? So check your answers, show your work, uh, don't change an answer that's correct, okay? I hope this all makes sense and you get everything right. All right, see you tomorrow.